Hello, everybody. We are ready to rock and roll Hello, today. Everybody. Do a little bit of Mandic the Gathering or Harina. Do a little bit of Mandic the Gathering. And for those of you who are not aware of it, um, when you come back and check this out live, you will see I now have the Cardboard Live extension. What that does is it allows you to see my deck list, uh, the cards I'm playing at the current time, the enemies, opponents' cards, the graveyards, um, all that information is available. You can export the deck if you like the way it plays. You can export it into Magic the Gathering Arena with a simple click of a button. You can also make it a PDF if you want. Um, a couple different ways that you can copy it. Uh, all live so check it out. I play on Tuesdays, I mean Thursdays at 2 o'clock. So let's get into some action. I have to do red or green spells. Almost done with my wins for the week, so we're doing pretty well. My goal is to get up to 80. I'm at 77 ranked in my mastery rank. I have until the 15th to do so. So I've got like five days to get up three levels. I'm hoping to go up at least one today. Let's check it out and see what we can do. Um, red or green. So let's start with our standard ranked. Um, let's see what brawl. There we go. Red and green. Boom. So we'll start with do a couple brawl decks. Brawl, brawl action. Those of you who aren't aware, brawl is similar to commander if you're, or EDH if you know what those are. You pick one card, a legendary card that is your commander um, and then all the cards have to match that color of the commander, and you can only have a total of 59 plus your commander, so 60 cards total, and no card can be a duplicate. Uh, and Brawl, the difference between commander and Brawl, commander is 100, Brawl is 60 cards, and the difference is with Brawl, they all have to be standard cards. So all my Brawl decks are going to go away here probably next week when they, or the 15th when they change everything. I've got three, and my Signet, and him, so I'm really looking good as far as my mana generation is concerned. Start with first, so I can throw out my Moss Viper. Turn one play, turn two play, I can bring him in, and then turn three, bring him in. Either my boss or my ring, we'll see. Ah, he got rid of my Great Henge. Well, that's not great. <laughs> See what I did there? Alright, there we go. And if you're watching, I've got some new commands. Um, you can type in quote to see one of the quotes that has been said on the stream. You can type in follow age all together one word. I've never seen this actually played in this. I have it in loses all land types and abilities and had add one and pay one life add one of any color. All right, well that's interesting. Curious, curious, curious. All right, so we'll bring him in. What does he do um, whenever you cast a creature spell? Additional 1-1 one, one counter. Let's bring in my boss. Let's do this. And we'll attack him in the face hole, too. He's playing black. A lot of removal cards. Um, let's see what happens. Magically delicious. Hello, Mr. Atomic. Told you, lots of removal. Feed the swam, that's a new one. Uh, destroy target creature, Chapman, you lose life. Oh, he lost, he killed himself to do it. Cool, I'll take that. 
All right, so I can bring my dude back in, or or the signet. I don't really need the mana as much as I want. So what this does is it allows me to, whenever I bring in something else, it gives me a plus one plus one counter on it. So this one will have two bonuses on it. Um, let's see. There you go. See, and I'm burning up his removal spells, so when I bring in my big guys, like him, then, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, why does that give me two? If we control a, a creature with power four or more, I don't, so why is it giving me two? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's only five, Dur. Ha <laughs> ha! Silly me. So he has Death Touch. Now we can bring him in. Let's see, do I have seven to bring him in yet? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I do. All right, I don't want to attack with my Gargoth. So I will attack with my Viper. Because if he blocks, he would kill it, so he won't block. Takes one point of damage. Alright, so now we can start bringing in my peeps. Alright, so this guy lets me throw in a bunch of plants, and then every time I bring in a land, I get to boost one of those plants. So let's start with him. Another mana. Ice Troll is nice. Alright, so let's go to combat. Let's get these two guys. Uh, I don't want to kill him on this soldier. Alright, so we'll just go with no attacks. So, I really want to bring... Get a spell that lets me kill things. Because right now, his death touch is stopping me from doing anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and take out his death touch. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to go with you. Um, do I have enough to boost him? One, two. I don't have enough to boost him. Alright, never mind. I'll wait till next turn because his boss can just stop me. Alright, no attacks. Alias Brawl deck, I see. Yeah, so the Alias Brawl deck, um, if you're wondering why it's called that, uh, there's a streamer that I watch. Um, in my opinion, she's the best Magic the Gathering streamer because, one, she interacts with her sometimes. Uh, she's not 100% not like Atomic or Dan Dazzle, um, who always interact with their streams. But um, she does okay. Uh, but she explains what's going on. And um, so she talks to the screen a little bit. She's also good at what she does. So I saw this deck and I went, yep, let's go for it. Okay, so he has a lot. I want to kill his dude. So let's go ahead and block him with these guys.
once he's blocked, then I can have a little bit more freedom to do stuff. Alright, I don't have any plant creatures left. Alright, so if I attack with my Gargroff, he can block it. Uh, so he's, um, we're pretty much done. We'll just stop here, say goodbye. I was able to get out a bunch of cards, work toward my goal, my daily goal. Look at that. Oh, I got 13 cards. Nice. Nice. All right. So let's uh, try that one more time. Yeah, this light, latest iteration of Kaldheim has seen tons and tons of removal and discard decks. It's just way... The number of them is just amazing. I have one myself. I have a discard deck. Alright, so no green. Only two lands. Let's definitely mulligan out. Still no greens. Does give me the Ozoloth, which is very important. So I'm going to keep it. And hopefully the gamble will pay off. Ozolith is nice. So remember all those 1-1 one, one tokens you kept seeing? Uh, when my dude, he puts them out, gives everybody who comes in 1-1. One, one. This will help with those. This lets me... Um, is he doing anything exciting? Comment to play it. Maybe mills a card. Draw a card. Um, I don't want to be milling, so let's go ahead and kill him. We will kill his butt. Stompy, stompy. I like the little footprint that shows up on the card when you kill it like that. Alright, another land is nice. I need a Swampy, though. So let's go ahead and bring in my Giant. Doesn't hurt to have a 4-3 on the board. Just saying. This is my card back, by the way. A little tattoo going on. Another mill card. Okay. All right. I'm getting annoyed here, folks. It is. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the purdy. Let's kill him. I don't want to be milling all those cards. And so we attack. Hit him in the face hole for four. What is his one? The trickster. It's a merfolk rogue. Wow! Whenever he hits me personally, he puts a he puts something from my graveyard onto the battlefield. And right now, that'll be the dragon. There we go. Finally, yay! Alright, so let's go ahead and we can cultivate. We're going to definitely cultivate and get some more lands out here. Click and click. Alright, 
So next turn will be nice, because I'll be able to do a couple things. My little goosey doesn't really do a whole lot, but it adds an artifact. I can also make more food tokens, which are artifacts, which allow me to gain life. The goosey itself will let me kill food to do stuff. Alright, so let's throw him down first. That'll still allow me to do this. Look at the top three cards in my library. And either take a land or a uh, creature from him. Uh, we're definitely taking this guy. And then we're going to put out a goose. Draw a card, each opponent loses a life. Okay, that's cool. No worries. Oh, did he just pass his turn? What just happened? I don't know what happened. Alright. We're gonna throw down a Hooya Hooya. Let's see. Target control fights another creature you don't control. Do I have one, two, and five? One, I do. Let's, let's, let's do this. He knows I'm sitting on a dragon. I'm actually gonna wait. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All three. All right, pick a person to put counters on. We're gonna put two counters on, one on him and one on him. Okay, what, target player? Boom, target creature you control. Boom. You don't control. Boom. Alright, so I'm going to gain a bunch of life. Which is five. And then my dude is going to fight his dude. Alright, so. Next combat, we are going to go with him. Um, I'm actually going to uh, wait to be able to block his guy. I don't want him being able to come through. Rune of Flight, nice. So that allows him to attack me this this time. Of course, I'm going to bring out my dragon next turn, so he won't be able to fight me anymore after that. He'll be able to bring out my giant. So, let's go ahead and put down another forest. We will throw down a my dragon. Oh, nice and fancy, fancy. Next, we go to combat. We'll punch him in the face for one. Um, yeah, we're going to punch him in the face for... More. Let's see if he's going to sacrifice his dragon. I mean, his giant, or if he's going to let it go through. All right. So we put it back in my hand, which is nice. 
One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can't do it yet. All right, next. I don't know if he will. Okay, yeah. I don't have any other permanents, so his boss hitting me isn't a big deal. I don't know why you would not put a card in the graveyard, but okay. So this now he has something he can pull out. So well played. I've got to get some decent cards, otherwise he's just going to continue to kick my butt. I need some destroy cards. Should have attacked with a giant. He had no reason not to, especially because he knew who's going to pull out the troll. So, wow, how was he able to do both? Um, okay. Nice. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, again, just not enough. All right, so do I want to do that to him? Right now we have plenty, so we're going to go here. I am not going to attack right now. So you can just jump block, and then I won't have a blocker. So I can do four points of damage. I can kill his boss. Ooh, um, he can bring out my goose. If he can stop my... Terror of the Peaks. He's got sitting on a lot of land and two cards. There we go. And again, even if it's a land. I'm not even sure why they do that. Just put it in a graveyard. Have a mill card. Seems silly, but whatever. And we're going to sacrifice a creature, and we're done. Because um, I just can't keep up with his weirdness that he's doing. Black and blue, that's a pretty cool, nice combination there. Oh, Dan Dezel. With a raid, no, no less. Look at that. You are awesome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All the spaghetti, rosy spaghetti, you can, you can eat just for you. At least we got my, our quest done, so we're close. Now we're just looking for that W. I was watching Dan Dazzle just before I joined on here. The only reason I stopped watching him was to stream myself. So definitely check him out. He's awesome. Lots of fun. 
Last couple days he's been doing Monster Hunter. One, two, three. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to keep it. Put down a swamp. Throw down my dude. So this guy we want to die. Um, because when he dies, and I'm, if I'm able to bring him back, he comes back in as a big, tough demon dude. That's Temple of Silence. Look at that. Look at this. I have a Temple of Silence myself. How about that? We are going to keep our Righteous Valkyrie. Thank you. All right, and we're going to throw out another Sacrificial Dude. So we have uh, quotes, extra mark quote, extra mark, follow age, if you want to know how long you've been following me and all my wonderfulness. There's now a uh, catch and hear a pun. You can type asterisk pun. If you haven't caught a pun, then you just haven't been watching this for very long. Alright, so let's see. She is a scantily clad human rogue. This guy's menace. This can kill it. Um, she has a converted mana cost of two. Yeah, let's kill her just because. Why not? There you go. <laughs> you can tell uh, that uh, I've only been... The the one disclaimer to that is it's only been uh, like three days. Two days. Since I added that command, uh, reality is much higher. <laughs> Alright, so let's throw him out because he gets bonuses when my other clerics come in. And then we can throw her and her and bring in my mace and go to the mall very soon, very soon. All right, I don't think he'll attack because he wants to keep her, but I hope he does. Um, I have a handful of quotes, uh, about a dozen now. So if you're curious about interesting quotes that have been said on my streams. You can also type in quote. But most of all, I just appreciate you coming by. I really appreciate the raid. That is very helpful. I am this close. I've met all of my requirements by far, except for I need three people. Spare of the Dying is a spell that you can cast to... Uh, when somebody is at zero hit points. So that's why that's a joke. <laughs> Spares the dying. Alright, so uh, do I want to kill him? He's already got two. He's already a 2-2 two -two because he's a ballerina. Uh, we'll let him keep his little dude out there for now. Um, I do want to get rid of that face feather though. But that's okay. We're going to keep it the way we are. Go to combat next. Let's get a bonus to our other dude then. He's going to attack. Get me two life. Yay. And end the turn. Yeah, but what I was saying is I only need the thing I need now to make part uh, affiliate is an average of three viewers. So once I hit that point, I will be ready to rock and roll. No blocks, my friends. No blocks. All right, bring out our sinkhole. And I'm going to give them all to... My girly girly. She's going to boost herself up. 
four to the face hole. All right, so he keeps gaining two life. Next turn, we're going to kill his dude because he hasn't bought anybody else in. That's worth killing. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Lifelink, indestructible. Alright, so I'm going to use this guy to kill him, actually, because that gives me twice as much life. And I only need to do two damage. But we're going to do three, because we gain a life. And we're going to boost herself again, so now she's up to five. Back down to 20. He's going to go back up to 23. Nice. I have another bonus. Alright, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll do the two of them. We'll bring in her, which because of him I get life. And then we'll bring in her because of him I'll gain life. And now we got two people boosting. So he, she not only has lifelink, she also has menace, which means you have to block her with two people. So he keeps gaining life, losing life, gaining life, but he is now top decking, which means he is has no cards in hand. I have a better board presence right this second. But it's still very early in the game. And my server just died. There we go. Alright, two and two. What is he doing that I don't see? He has no hands, so he can't be doing any kind of trick, so I'm going to kill him. Ah, that's what he's doing. Okay. He did do a trick, and I just forgot about it. My bad. I deserve it. Okay. Am I going to kill him now? Yeah, I'm going to kill him now. That annoyed me. I didn't like it. And he gives up. Yay. Got my W. Woot, woot. Yay. All right, so that'll give me 250 gold, but more importantly, it gives me the experience I need. To jump up one more level of mastery. And I get a fancy new card. Let's see. Drum roll. Boing. Resplendent Marshall. Yeah, I guess she is pretty resplendent. Quite the outfit she has. I like the shield as well. Very cool. Alright, so when he enters the battlefield or dies, exile another creature card from my graveyard. Put a plus one question kind of on each creature you control that shares a creature type with the exiled card. All right. Only costs three, and it's a 3-3, three, three, so not bad. A little fairly specific cards there, but that's okay. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's switch over to Greeny. So this was... An all-powerful deck, really high win rate. Then Kaldheim came out um, with all these removal. So the whole point of this deck is to build up big creatures. All right, so I have a turn one play. 
with this guy. If I use these guys up for land, I can then play him and him. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this and then him mutate somebody. So I'm going to keep it. I don't like having to sacrifice these guys for land because these spells are really good. But we'll see how it plays out. I hate mulliganing more. So here's our turn one play. Anyway, so this deck was a really strong deck, but when then they came out with all these removals and discards and stuff, um, the whole point is to build up all these monsters and when you keep killing the monsters, I'm not able to do that. So hit him in the face for one. He's playing a blue. Could be a mill deck, could be a just a screw with your head counter deck. That's what blue likes to do. Really just depends on what his next land is. So that, my friends, is a red deck. So blue and red. All right, it could be a it could be a giant deck, a deck with giants in it, that type of thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw him down as a land. Next turn, I can finally do something. I have two of my planeswalkers, so I can afford to lose one when necessary. Okay, now I get to reclaim the waste. You dorkness. All right, so let's see. What does this do again? Um, put it in your hand. So I can play it. Okay, so let's do that. Boom. What that does is it'll give me a forest it sticks in my hand so I can then play it. Boof, and now I still have three. So I'm going to bring in my Lord of Garenrig. And let's see what he does. He's holding on to stuff. Because I'm having to wait every time I cast a spell. And there it is. He cancelled it. I'll attack. So he has lots of scry, lots of counters. Or at least one counter. She is, whenever you draw your second card, deals three damage. Okay, so she's going to be tough. I want to kill her when as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and drop this down. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, I think I'm going to use the recovery to uh, bring him back. No attacks. End the turn. Alright, so if she does happen to do a second card, then she can kill... My my girl. Grabbing dinner lurk. Appreciate the lurk. Atomic. Told you. But that's okay, because I've got a good blocker, and I'm happy to do it. Are you just a regular creature? Okay. All right, so I have one, two, three, four. Um, I don't remember if I can tap him as soon as I get him out. Let's see. I'm willing to take that chance. Cannot. All right. So that uh, that was uh, gambled and lost, but that's all right because now I have five, and I can bring in my planes. Waka. Okay. Let's see. 
And right now he can't do any damage because he has a zero. So we'll see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I just can't keep up with his stuff, but um, let's see. He just killed my dude. <sighs> um, I could trade off his auger for my beast. I think what I'm going to do is throw him in. I'm going to attack. I'm going for it because I want him to trade in his auger for me. Because he's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So by killing him now, he won't do it. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's just oh, let's not waste any more time. Alrighty, so looking for that second W of the day. Uh, let's go with discard. Um, it doesn't have a very good win chance. It's only about 30%. Um, but after all the discard and destruction that's been happening to me, it'll be um, curative to uh, do a little bit back. Very nice. I am keeping this one absolutely because I can play everything here with the cards with the lands I have. So we're gonna start by throwing this out. Keep him guess. Gee, what's he playing? What's he playing? And then I can start bringing in my. Disciples. Boom. Discard. Oh, what did you say? Did you say hello? I'm not sure. I didn't know what he said. I don't, didn't hear what he said. Didn't read what he said. Alright, so he discarded a reduced to ashes. Okay. Alright, that's alright. That's, that's okay. It's okay. Now, we're going to make you discard two cards, mill a card, lose a life, and I'll go up to 23. So he'll be down to three cards, and he'll draw one, and then I'll make him discard two more. Ah, he's foretelling. Okay. So, we're going to throw down another swamp. Nope, I'm not foretelling nothing. You're going to discard both those cards you have in your hand. Goodbye. All right, so how many cards do you have in your thing? You have seven. He is flying death touch link. Um, let's go ahead and bring her in. Make you discard that card or cast it. One of the two, buddy. What are you going to do? Come on. Okay, we're good. All right, so now we're going to bring in our swamp. 
And we're bringing him in. So he's got sitting on one dude that's being foretold. All right. So I was a little worried about that, but it's okay because now he's top decking. He has nothing, and he just threw that. So we're going to play her as a rogue. And then I'm going to put him down as a land. Punch him in the face. And now we can start drawing cards. And it won't cost me anything because I, if I have an empty hand. So. Alright, what does this do? Opponent discards two cards, return creature with mana cost two or less. Destroy target creature with mana cost two or less. Alright, let's return. I'm not going to pay it with a kicker. We're going to return her back to the thing, which will make him discard a card. <laughs> it sucks so bad to be playing against these type of decks. I'm telling you, man, it sucks so hard. What does that say? Oh, double power of a creature. Okay. Very nice, very nice. All right, so what does this do? Nope, don't want that. So we're going to bring him in as a land. And then we're going to activate our castle. We lose life equal to number of cards in your hand, which is, well, all right, I guess it does count as one. Fine. Throw him out there. And we're going to attack. Down to seven. So this guy lets all my cards have foretell. And every time I cast one uh, as a foretell, he gets a plus two for that turn. So if I get anything except a, uh, well, if I get a creature basically, And he gave up. Okay. I don't blame him. It's so hard to play against these type of decks when um, everything is lined up like it did there. So that'll help me out, definitely. Get me some more XP and a little bit of 25, huh? That's it. That's it, that's it. Ah, oh, because my wins are done for the day. 60 hours. Boo! Five days from now? Wow, I got 15 wins pretty quick this week. I'm surprised. Surprised myself there. All right, well, at least I can earn a little bit more gold um, and slowly work up my XP. I need to get this. I have two days to get up to... I mean, I have... Uh, to the 14th to get this up to 80. So I'm going to try my Cleric one more time. Craig. You have all these fancy names and then there's Craig. Alright, I'm going to keep it. I'd rather have lots of land than not enough land. I'll be able to slap him down right away, slap her down, and her down, and then have a couple things extra. Plus two, plus two to the end of the turn. Okay, cool. Kill, kill, kill. Speaker. So it's landfall, so he gets a plus two, and then it goes away. Alright. Oh, he killed my dude. Because that's what red does. 
I could return the favor now. But I think we want to wait. Let's bring her out. She gets a plus two. I mean a plus one. Becoming a two. Flip my book. Whoosh. Make his dog bark at me. Hey, I was making... Messing with your dog. There we go. Alright, so... Bring her out again. And he gives up. Wow! I mean, he was doing pretty good. I'm surprised. But hey, I will take it. I will take it. I will take it. Take it straight to the bank. All right. For 100 gold, 25 experience. Boom. All right. So let's do one more brawl, and then I think we will call it a day. We will go to... I have five. So we'll make... We will let the dice determine what we're doing. We got a four. So we're going to do our giants. So this has a lot of red blastiness, blasty blasties, um, and then some little bit of blue counter, but like three spells, um, and then a lot of giants. All right, so this one will, could be there. This one will be tapped. He's awesome, though, and I would have three. Uh, is that a land? It is not. Uh, I like this guy a lot. This one only, only costs two. Let's me scry. I'm going to keep it. So because I'm able to scry, because I have three showing, we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, throw him down. Hey, sweetie. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's put down our mountain, and then we'll bring in our invasion of the giants, which lets me scry too. So I definitely want him. I like him. I'm going to bring him to the top. Take it to the top. Mm -mm -mm. So then I'll get to draw an extra card. So I'll have both cards. To, uh, so. That was silly. I didn't realize. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Ooh, he gets to bring in his dude. All right. So, whenever a p permanent, if he has, uh, you may move him, exile another permanent. Okay. 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 Gotcha. 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 Yep. I'm showing it. Okay, so now I can put him down, and now I have lots of choices. So I want to um, make him use his removals right away. So we're going to start with my boss. Bring him in. See what kind of removals he's got sitting in his hand. It's an interesting picture.
Unfortunately, and surprisingly, I don't have any Blasty spells in my hand. That's curious. Alright, next giant I spell cast this turn is two. Alright, resolve. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Didn't realize that was the case. Okay, so I can put this guy out. At, with his full cost. Alright, so if I attack, he'll just block... Um, So no attacks this turn. He can sack him to kill him, give him a plus one, plus one. I'll be surprised if he doesn't. There we go, see? All right, so he'll still be able to smack him from my graveyard. So that's nice. That's All right, folks, what are you doing today, please? So it gives him another plus one, plus one. Yeah, I don't see me winning this. It's just I'm not getting the combo of cards that I need to combat what he's doing. Let's go ahead and throw in another blue. Well, I'll make them red. That's fine. I've got two reds in there. All right. So um, I'm not sure what else he's got up his sleeve. So I'm going to keep trying to bait him into using his stuff. Uh, I just don't see how I can win this. I'm just going to stop everything. There we go. Alright, folks. Well, hey. King Retro Gaming, how the heck are you, my friend, my friend? Um, Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it very much. Um, there we go. So we were able to make our goal, daily goals for the day. We were able to go up one more level. Like I said, I'm trying to get up to 80, which is the max. I mean, you can keep going after 80, but uh, that's the main, this is the main goal you can see here. Boom. Um, 81 is an uncommon card, uh, but I want to get achieve 80 if I can, and I have until six days expires in six days. So I'm hoping to uh, get that done. That will last, that will give me my last mastery stone, and. So, because what had happened was I had uh, gotten a bonus from work, so I was able to buy that bottom track. Uh, I don't remember exactly how much it is, but the uh, the interweb said you you earn enough stuff to like double your cost if you're able to take it up to 80. And because you get, uh, I know you get 1,200 gems. I've received 1,200 gems from it. Uh, let's see. So if we go to gems, so uh, maybe 16. So it's like 10 bucks in gems. Let's go back to mastery. I've gotten these guys uh, three um, in three different stages: regular, medium, and well done. Boom. Those are the well done versions. So we see 200 here, 
you get 500 gold here. Um, another 500, another 200 gold, I mean 200 uh, gems. So that's 1,000 gold. 600, another 2,000 gold. So we're at 2,500 and 800 gems. 1,000 gems. 3,000 gold, 3,500 gold, 1,200 gems. So is that 35 or 4,000 goldish? Um, so that's what you get for the extra bonus. You get a dude, you get the sleeves, um, and then a bunch of packs. Uh, also, not counting all the packs and everything else, if you go to just gold if we just wanted to buy gold uh, I don't think you can buy gold by itself can you can you can you huh 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 I don't think you can buy gold um, like I said the gems themselves uh, were, were worth almost 10 bucks worth the gems 1200 I think is what I said um, and you get the sleeve I got the free sleeve the world tree and those are our about 10 bucks each, almost. A um, bunch of pets. Like I said, I got the bear pets and things, um, and those can set you back quite a bit. So, anyway, my goal was to get up to 80 on this, and it looks like I have a good chance of doing it, as long as I'm able to keep clicking away. A little sad this is only 15 a week, though. But uh, the good news is I was able to knock that out get 15 wins in like three days so three or four days so that was pretty impressive um but hey thank you so much for staying hanging around um i magic the gathering is the one i do the least check out my schedule down below um you can see that there and uh, i do a lot of live play for dungeons and dragons live play starfinder which is my favorite then i also do how to be a dungeon master, how to set those games up in Fantasy Grounds Unity. So if you play online with your friends using Fantasy Grounds Unity for Starfinder or Dungeons & Dragons, or pretty much any game set, uh, I have tips and tricks on how to use that platform. Check it out. Um, I even have a Sven Solo campaign, which is pretty funny. Um, I'm playing Dungeons & Dragons using the Solo game. So if you have any... Um, so make sure you go to the the use and the tubes. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Hang out. Whatever else you do, enjoy the rest of your day.